Welcome to Families in Paradise, our third annual showcase for businesses. And as you can see, another Chamber of Commerce Day. And we're really, really happy to welcome you once again to our signature event, Families in Paradise. Uh, we're from Hardwire, the fiber optic company. We're happy to be here with you guys today, with our team, sharing some love, providing service to the whole island, and definitely being part of this. Thank you so much for having us here. Hi. This is the Mercy Hospital booth at Families in Paradise. My name is Lindsay Manifold and this is Addie Corral. And we are hosting a teddy bear clinic here for all the kids um, to get a teddy bear and then also get a certificate that their teddy bear is healthy. Um, we have a kid-friendly ER uh, open 24-7 and we're your community hospital. Hi, we're here at the uh Key Biscayne Family Fun Day. We're having a great time. I'm with Mount Sinai Medical Center here on Key Biscayne, and uh, we hope everyone enjoys the day. We have Mount Sinai Primary Care and Multi-Specialty uh, Group Cardiology here on the Key. They're Monday through Friday from 8.30 to 5. We're here from historic Virginia Key Beach Park, and today we are here to celebrate the historic Biscayne Central Railroad. Currently, uh, it began its first ride in 1945 as a premier amusement at the park. And currently, it's went into disrepair, and so we're raising $500,000 to renovate our railroad. We've per we're purchasing a new locomotive. We're improving our tracks, renovating our train station, and creating an in-tunnel digital experience for all of our guests. So come check us out at historic Virginia Key Beach Park. We are at 4020 Virginia Beach Drive. We look forward to seeing you there. All aboard! All aboard! <laughs> hey John, can you please tell me how do you stay so good looking? In such great shape all the time. Can you explain to me? It's playing tennis at Key Biscayne Tennis Association and the Araya uh, Academy. Why do you like to go to uh, Key Biscayne Tennis Association or to my academy? Finding partners to play with, always easy. You come there and um, we have rotation tennis. We have all different uh, uh, levels playing. Right. And you can have a great time. So come any Saturday, Sunday, evenings, weekdays, early in the morning. And we hope to see you there. I am very familiar with pretty much all of you in Kiwi's Kane, so get back, get a racket, and join us at KBTA. Presenting the Golden Hog, and we're doing cookie decorating for the kids today, and we're also doing a cookie contest. So the winner of the best cookie decorating is going to win a vanilla bond cake and a tote bag from, from the store. Thank you. Hi, I'm Brian Neiman. We're with the Miami Sea Aquarium. And we've got a couple of our friends here today with us. This is Oscar. He's a bearded dragon. He's a boy. And he's here to help us show just how incredible these animals are. And these uh, little guys have these little barbs right along the side of their bodies. They're meant to intimidate predators, make them think like, oh, I'm not biting that because it's sharp. Actually, if you touch it, they're actually very soft, even the ones on his face, which are a little bit stiff, but they actually don't pierce the skin. Matter of fact, you could poke him all the live long day, nothing's gonna happen. He's very docile and he knows us very, very well, so he knows me. He knows what we're doing. How old is he? He's about five years old, four or five years old. And he is happy, healthy, and just a big bundle of joy. He loves crawling all over people. He loves to, uh, you know, spend time with us. You know, he'll often try and nuzzle into your neck when you have them on your shoulder. We feed them these little mealworms. We dunk them in water, this way they can uh, at least have some sort of hydration effect on them. They're not dry, you know, like kind of like potato chips, right? 
and he'll gobble them up. We also give him the water too. He's got to Here we go. Let's see. He might eat. He might not. I'm gonna use this little business card someone gave me real quick and see how he reacts. Oh, there he goes. Nom, 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 nom. This is LeBron. She is a spotted gecko, leopard gecko. And she hides, she could drop her tail when she's scared. And she just recently dropped her tail like two years ago. So this is what we got now, which she's growing back. A little chubbier than usual. And she's very calm. How long will it take her to get her tail back? Oh, she dropped it two years ago, and this is what we got now. And she could grow a little bit longer, but this is where she stores all her water. Ramya Sundaram. I'm the Citizen Science Coordinator for the Key Biscayne Community Foundation. Um, specifically, I work with the uh, Key Biscayne uh, Citizen Science Project. Today we are here with Families in Paradise to teach kids about the life cycle of a butterfly. So we're making little caterpillars and butterflies and teaching them why uh, pollinators like butterflies are important for the environment. And you know that's what we try to do with the Citizen Science Project is teach the community about the environment, the ecology, why Key Biscayne is unique, and why all of the different species that live here are important. So we're doing our best to use sustainable products today. Um, the pipe cleaners are kind of in the middle, but we are using uh, paper, that, like the tissue paper, which is obviously biodegradable, and the paper plates that we're using are also compostable and biodegradable. Um, again, you know, we're, we're trying to teach about sustainability and the importance of that, so we try to make sure that everything we do is as little or zero waste as possible. Hi, my name is Brian Diaz. I am the coordinator for Frost Sciences Museum Volunteers for the Environment program. And that program is really uh, something that's trying to uh, do something incredibly important and incredibly special. Uh, we're trying to engage volunteers to go out into natural spaces and rebuild the habitat that used to be there. Uh, so a lot of these areas are areas that are degraded to a certain extent or have problems with invasive trees, uh, invasive trees or invasive species. And we recruit volunteers to remove all of those invasive uh, species that ecologically don't serve a very great function. You know, the, the wildlife that lives in Florida doesn't use them the same way that they could use native plants. So we're trying to reintroduce all those native plants and engage volunteers so that they become lifelong stewards for the environment and work to protect the really important uh, kind of services that we get from nature. Uh, so the work that we do is very basic. Um, it's just putting in small plants in the ground. Usually the plants start off as small plugs and they grow little by little into tall, very mature and healthy plants. The two main species that we put in are sea oats. It is a kind of tall grass that you will find by the beach and they're used to restore the coastal sand dunes. Um, the second species that we work with very often is the red mangrove when we're doing mangrove forest restoration. And this kind of restoration is giving us some very great benefits. Uh, because they're, they're very much associated with water, we're getting uh, benefits in terms of coastal protection. So because Florida has water all throughout the, uh, the peninsular uh, side, three-fourths of the state is surrounded by, by the ocean, um, it's very important that we have a lot of protection. Uh, so if you don't have any vegetation by the coast, you're not going to have um, as much of a protected coastline. When waves come in, they very effectively erode away the beach. And every now and then, you have this new uh, occurrence called beach renourishment where they have to bring in new sand and rebuild the beach entirely. So one of the common ways people in Miami-Dade County are trying to counteract the kind of problems we're having with coastal erosion is by, is by building a seawall. A seawall is basically, just as the name suggests, a concrete wall or a stone wall that you put by the coast and its purpose is to protect against incoming waves and it does protect for a while the, uh, the more inland areas, but they're liable to breaking down. If a big hurricane comes by and knocks it over, it has to be rebuilt, and they're very expensive to rebuild. But when you reintroduce vegetation, not only are you getting similar, if not 
uh, better coastal protection. But if a hurricane comes by, the same hurricane that knocked this out and knocks down a few of the plants, because it's a living dynamic system, the living trees are going to start reproducing and it's going to start coming back on its own. Uh, so it's kind of something that takes care of itself and, um, and it's coastal protection that even if it's damaged can heal itself over time. You see if I make waves here, the sand, which represents the coastline, is relatively protected. And if you have the same kind of vegetative community with a coral reef offshore, it's even further protected. And you have a very stable coastline. And we're also rebuilding habitat. So as we do this kind of work, we start seeing native wildlife come back. We see birds, butterflies, manatees, dolphins, sharks, you name it, they're coming back using our site for food, for shelter, for rearing their young. And at the end of the day, it makes the program incredibly rewarding, not just for us, but for volunteers that come in to help out. pharmacy and here we have a slime factory uh, so we're able to uh, choose a prescription slime add a color and add a scent to it and then we'll be uh, able to mix it and play with the slime what key pharmacy they can also get their makeup done by our cosmetics department so we have some nice um, glitter and eyeshadow going on over here oh, and they added bubble gum I choose purple and I add cotton candy and I choose the uh, oh, mango Hey, how's it going? This is Dr. Chaviano and we're here at the Kiwi's Cane Chamber. And what we're doing pretty much is uh, teaching kid, little kids how to floss. And we're using Legos, kind of representing their teeth. And a little bit of clay in between and some uh, strings of floss so we can teach the kids how to floss. And we're also giving away and raffling out a free bleaching. So we're having the parents sign up for that as well and giving away some of these little baggies with uh, some pens and toothbrushes and hand sanitizers and, and stuff like that. So uh, come by and, and join us. We're located on 240 Crandon Boulevard, Suite 104 uh, in Kibis Cane next to the Starbucks and we also have another office in the, by the Dayland Mall at the Daytran Center. Justin Polga, Dr. Justin Polga. I'm an internist, concierge uh, medical physician here in Key Biscayne. Um, today at uh, Families in Paradise, we're giving out these packets. It has my uh, contact information, but also a really, really nice pen with a stylus. Um, I've been on the key for a couple years, and I'm always available. I'm at 240 Cranon Boulevard. This event is amazing. So concierge medicine is a very individualized, kind of special type of medicine. I typically spend like an hour to two hours per patient. I do home calls, office visits. I uh, talk to people on the weekends. I'll actually take care of you at the hospital as well. It's really 24-7, all-encompassing care. Hi, guys. My name is Noom, and I'm here with the Marjorie Soman Douglas Biscay Nature Center at Families in Paradise. It's a wonderful day out here. We've got a ton of vendors. Um, We're out here, of course, representing the Nature Center at the northern end of Crandon Park. We've got some of our animals out here to touch. And of course, we've got fresh water and bubblers that we are gonna switch out um, in a little bit to make sure that they're not stressed out. Liz is holding a sea urchin, right? So you can see he's got those spines. And the way that he moves is that if they're in the water, they have a bunch of little legs that come out and those are called tube feet. So those tube feet have suction cups at the ends of them. So that's how they're able to walk around and hold on to things. And when they are in the ocean, a lot of times they'll grab things with their tube feet, um, like algae and other shells to kind of camouflage. Now she's holding a vase conch, which is a type of snail. And then we've also got our tulip snail. Now these guys are super cool. We love having them because they're really active. And if you look, Hermit crabs, right, get all of their shells from other snails. So this hermit crab probably found a discarded tulip snail shell, and he's now made it his home. So as soon as he gets too big for that shell, he's going to leave and find another one. We are in the northern ends of Cranston Park. 
It is open every day from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. We've got plenty of really cool exhibits. We've got seahorses, corals, jellyfish, all of these fabulous animals in our touch tank. So come out and visit us anytime you guys like. Here we're super excited to be here. We're gearing up for summer camp. We've got programs every day, family seagrasses. So please come out, enjoy the day. It's a beautiful day. There's plenty to see, um, and we hope to see you guys here. Big Blue and You organization is a nonprofit, and every other year we host an event called Artsy, and Artsy is dedicated to inspiring youth to protect the ocean through arts and media. Today we have an activity to learn about ocean plastics, sorting and stringing caps for a future installation at a local school. The danger for the caps in the ocean is that they leach chemicals into the ocean and they make our oceans very toxic. And as they break down, as they photo degrade in the sun and break down, they become little microorganisms at the, on that level and then the fish take them in and so it's been, they've done studies and the fish are actually ingesting plastic now. So when you eat fish, you're actually eating plastic. It's not good for the fish, it's not good for us. So we need to come up with alternatives and stop using so much single-use plastic. And that is what this booth is. That's our inspiration for today. Want to know more about Artsy and joining the Big Blue? What can you do about it? Where do you go? You have to go to bigblueandyou.org and we have a volunteer button so you can push on the drop down and you can volunteer and you can get involved with our program. We would love to have you. Hi, I'm Sierra Bragan. I'm the owner and founder of Miami Moms Blog. We are Miami's premier parenting resource and we are thrilled to be here today at Families in Paradise. Stop by our booth, make a nice bath salt to take home, to relax, and we know moms love coffee, so be sure you come and enter our Starbucks giveaway. Check us out online, MiamiMomsBlog.com. We host events for moms and families all throughout Miami. We do a large Christmas event, a Donuts with Santa. We do an event in the spring for new and expecting moms at Mercy Hospital. And we host regular Moms Night Out. So be sure to follow us on Instagram, Miami Moms Blog, and on Facebook. Hi, I'm Alina Freire here, a realtor in Key Biscayne, making keychains for everybody at the uh, Families in Paradise. Beautiful day today. Come out and join us. Uh, well, when you buy a house, you need a keychain, right, to put your key in. So <laughs> that was like my whole thought through it. And I'm also giving away cookies, homemade chocolate chip cookies. I try to dabble in a little bit of everything to keep myself interesting. <laughs> Hi, uh, this is Nina Ramirez from NMR Design Group. We are an interior design company that focuses on residential and commercial. We do everything from renovation to construction to plans to furnishing. So we're here for all your needs. Well, we're so happy to be part of Families in Paradise. We're here from the Key Biscayne Presbyterian School. And what we have is a little spin the wheel game. And depending on where you land, you get to take home a craft that goes with one of these storybooks. So we'd like to encourage parents to read the book to their child and then make the craft together. We'll start summer camp in June, and that'll run all summer and then the school year starts at the very end of August. So inside each bag are all the items that you need in order to make the craft. So it's a, the Hungry Caterpillar, for instance, you put together the, the caterpillar, and then as you read the story, the child can feed the caterpillar and the items go back into the bag again. Or the rainbow fish, you draw, you color your rainbow fish, and then the child can put some of their glittery things on the rainbow fish, and they can share others, the ones that are left over with everybody else. We have Mama Mama red pajamas, and you get to make Mama, you get to make Llama Llama's um, little quilt. Harold and the purple crayon, you get to point out where you want to go visit in Key Biscayne with your purple crayon. You can go on an adventure. And then this one is Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. So you get to put together your palm tree and then inside there's also a matching game of uppercase and lowercase letters on coconuts. All right, hi, good morning. So here we are, Gloria and Maria. We're from Sembrano Orthodontics. We're very proud to be, you know, showing all of our services to the community. As you know, Dr. Sembrano is one of the top 10 in the world as an Invisalign provider, as well as number one in the whole entire Florida state. Um, we treat kids, adults, we have three locations, Miami Beach, Coral Gables, and also here in the Key. 
We're also giving away um, a lot of prizes, also $150 for whoever comes here and gets uh, and give us their information. And we will also are giving uh, free consultations for whoever needs it. Thank you very much. Everybody's more than welcome to come here and we're very proud to be here. My name's Andrew. I'm here with my lovely sister and a friend and we're selling uh, Icon electric vehicles. Uh, they're built in Tampa. Currently we're in the Key Biscayne area, uh, Key Largo, Ocean Reef, um, and they're the hottest golf carts in, in the southeast. Um, they're fully electric, up to 30 miles an hour, street legal. So come check us out, BiscayneIcon.com. Thanks. Good afternoon and welcome to Families in Paradise on Key Biscayne. I am the branch manager for Cobalt Banker Key Biscayne, located at 328 Crandon Boulevard, Suite 126. We're actually here representing Cobalt Banker. Cobalt Banker commercials are playing constantly because our brand believes highly in pet rescue. And we have a pet rescue agency here that has, that's, has some beautiful pooches here to adopt. So there will have a, there's a lot of interested people here, not only to see what we're about, but also to really appreciate what we also um, are a big part of and what we believe in is adoption of rescued animals. So we're doing home checks, the agency is doing home checks to get beautiful homes for these families. And we're also here as a brokerage to offer beautiful homes for families. Thank you very much for coming. Cowell Banker, Key Biscayne. Hi, my name is Rodrigo Antunes. I'm the head coach and the owner of Alliance Jiu Jitsu in Key Biscayne. I'm so you know, blessed to be part of this amazing community. Uh, you know, we're so welcome since we came here. And we offer you know, Jiu Jitsu class. Uh, you know, 30 something years of experience in teaching and competing in a high level. And our goal to make our, our community safer. And we offer classes for kids since four years old until kids at 87 years old can be training with us. Um, so, wish you guys the best. For any information you want to relate to us, it's alliancekb.com. We are located at 660 Crandon Boulevard, switch to uh, 10 right in the same parking lot of um, Winn-Dixie. So just stop by, we're pleased to, be, to, to have you guys there. We're pleased to have you guys, and thanks again for the great opportunity to be part of this amazing community. Hi, I'm Ricardo, uh, I am the head instructor of Milwaukee Flow. We're a jiu-jitsu and movement gym in Key Biscayne, Florida. We're located next to the Starbucks. And um, basically what jiu-jitsu is, is a non-violent martial art. So we have in a one hour class, we do obstacle courses just like this, in which we teach uh, the kids and the adults how to break a fall, how to run faster, how to jump higher. And then obviously we teach them how to defend themselves with Jiu Jitsu, which like I said, is a non-violent martial art. So basically we don't teach any punches or kicks. We only teach positions of control and leverage based techniques in which the kids are not going to be turned into bullies because we teach them just to talk to the bully, control the bully, and then become friends with the bully to break the violence and the chain of bullying. So if you want to bring your kids, we're next to Starbucks and we're waiting for you. Thank you. Hello, I'm Gabriel Suarez. I'm General Director of Key Academy International. And I'm Carolyn St. Clair. Uh, we're located behind the Wells Fargo on 104 Crandon Boulevard in the Key Executive Building. We offer all sorts of services from pre-K through university, uh, reading skills, math skills, organizational and study skills. We offer psychoeducational evaluations, gifted testing, ADHD coaching, as well as test prep for middle, high school and university students. So please, if, if for any and all of your academic needs, come by and see us. We'd love to help. Well, I'm Dr. Carolyn St. Clair with Key Academy International. We have Andy helping at our origami station today, which facilitates uh, test-taking skills, organization, focus, listening, and fine motor skills. So we're making lots of interesting animals today with our origami station. Oh, we have tic-tac-toe, just to help again with sensory motor skills and to have some fun. Hi, how are you doing today? Uh, we are actually here in the Families of Paradise in uh, Key Biscayne, and we are separate. We are a restoration company. We do more fire and floods. If you have an emergency of hurricane and the hurricane season, we actually 1,700 franchises. We're ready to go. 
and uh, we are a 24-7 emergency response team. Uh, we do the restoration. We actually have equipment that actually do the dry out. We have dehumidifiers that actually dry uh, if you have any floods, and we have equipment. We have all people like ready to go just in case of any emergency, and we actually do build backs as well. Anything is destroyed, we can just build it back again, like it never even happened. The pipe that broke at 3 o'clock in the morning, if anything happened, uh, we're ready to go. We are actually 24-7, uh, and we actually get together just in case so we have a Irma or we have a Matthew or a Hurricane or anything, we get all together. We have a program that actually get everyone together and we, we help uh, all the community. Hi, my name is Maricela Cisneros. I'm the manager for One Sotheby's International Realty. In the, in the Key Biscayne office. We're here enjoying this family fun day and what we're trying to introduce to the kids is art and architecture. So we've brought samples of famous artists and the kids are all drawing and painting and expressing their artistic talent for us here. We're here in the, in the square right here in Key Biscayne, One Sotheby's International Realty. Hi, I'm Christine Ortega. We're here from Motivating Minds. We're here at the Families in Paradise. We're doing a little art project with the kids and some science. Today they're making potted plants. So they're, they're designing them with some arts and crafts. And then they're putting some soil and the seeds in them. And then they can take them home. It'll grow into a little plant. We're located in Las Planad Mall. It's open to kids uh, kindergarten through eighth grade. Our hours are from 9 a.m. to about 8 p.m. We do tutoring, we do art classes, we have day camps, homeschooling, uh, whatever you're looking for, you can call our, our office. All right, well, I just want to say uh, thanks to everybody for coming out to our Families in Paradise event. I really appreciate the Chamber putting this on. Uh, as you can see, it, we've had a great turnout and all the effort of all the volunteers and everybody here, all the vendors, it, it's been tremendous. So thanks very much, and uh, let's keep this going because this is what the community is about. Thanks.